Welcome back guys, none other than Cringy Star here to collect that YouTube AdSense and to grow my channel. I have to be brutally honest. So today I'm gonna to be going through a video on the three top tips that I wish I knew that could have saved me so much time in medical school. Um, by this time I probably even haven't even shot the video. This is like in the future what I would have done. So basically today I'm gonna to be going through a video that I've basically stolen from Anas No Ali. Ha 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 Now Anas done a pretty good video on the sort of tips that he would advise new medical students. So I saw that and I was like, yep, I'll be taking that. Ha 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 Make sure you check out Anas's channel because he's been putting out bangers recently. I'm not even gonna to lie to you. Now the first major tip that I would give is to actively look for friends in the senior years. I'm not talking about the haram stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. One thing I am talking about is that you make sure that you have the ability to be able to collect or amass their notes because they pass down books and that's usually the way it works in medical school. So make sure you do that. Make sure that you find their resources that has saved them so much time. So you probably save potentially 100 to 200 hours if you're just making notes and they have already made notes for you so make sure you check that out the other thing that you can do is that you can go look for a spouse and um yeah so the second major tip is to study efficiently by this what do i mean i mean to explain it to you guys we know that cliche advice that people give but trust me take my advice because I want to get views and I want you to like the video. So if you haven't liked the video already, please like it. By this, I mean that you check the specification points that you can be examined on. Don't necessarily sit through the entirety of the lecture, especially if you don't need to be there. So you can watch it from potentially five till 11 at night time, then sleep. And in the day you can work or you can do your other stuff. So that's for the days that you don't have placement. So you need to find a time to study efficient. One hour there, one hour back, that's two hours lost for your commuting. Especially if you don't need to be there, you can stay at home. I'm not advising you to stay at home all the time just before someone mentions it in the comment section and they dislike the video. So if you haven't liked the video already, please like it. And do remember, not every single lecture you have to be there. A lot of the time, the teacher is trying to explain it for the majority of the people. And if you are one of those who have the ability to grasp context or concepts, concepts very good um rewind rewind concepts very fantastically then um you'll be able to sort of save a lot of that time that you sort of people do spend on that topic one thing to also consider is the, your availability and when you can work and when you cannot work so for example you might be able to work two days in the weekdays and two days on the weekends and potentially raise 800 to 500 pounds a week and potentially be able to pay off your university loan so bear that in mind bear in mind the days that you do have placement so that it doesn't clash and you don't get kicked out of your job and start failing in uni as well so bear that in mind now tip number three is that the notion that you don't have time to socialize absolute waffle you always do have time and i've mentioned this and i've essentially gone through a whole uk cat course explaining the importance of revision and practice and one thing that I'd advise in the ebook that I have for the UK cat is that you spend morning time revising. Now if you guys remember the reference to the noble man in one of the last videos on the major tip to the UK cat, hopefully I'm gonna do some crazy zoom out now. A man came and he asked a very noble man, a piece of poem, should I leave my camel and put my trust in God or should I tie my camel and not put my trust in God? Now we see that we are advised to study in the morning, but why is this? Now one of the potential reasons is that there are less distractions. Two, your focus levels are higher, primarily it being the morning of the day and you're more energized in comparison to the night time. And three, the psychological, would you call it impact that it sort of has leaving the work to the end of the day, it sort of like drags you down and you see it more as a burden. Whereas if you get it out of the way in the morning, then you feel like you're free, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Now socializing helps with this as when you socialize, you're able to capitalize on the mistakes of others, not in a dodgy way, but essentially, in a way that allows you not to fall into their mistakes and save time on your hands, where you can spend in reinvesting into a new business or potentially setting up something new that is potentially like a non-profit organization. So again, it's really, really important that you socialize, even not necessarily just with medics, potentially with engineers or 
uh, dentists so that you can potentially build something to help pre-med students so you see where this can go so number one challenge yourself two and i'm basically making up three new ones so it can sound like i'm you know better two compete against your friend or your friends if you're fortunate enough and um three enjoy the process you know obviously i'm making it out like it's some crazy stuff you're a normal human being you need times to break so just enjoy the process live it up get that money get that marriage in check and uh, catch you in the next video after you like the video 700 million times in a bit guys